So up to this point, we have looked at InDesign and should now be aware of how it works and some crucial things to keep in mind to get us started. Soon, we are going to get hands-on with InDesign to practice some of the essential tools and features. But before that, there is one last important thing to keep in mind, and that is IDML files. Those of you who are familiar with Photoshop and Illustrator will know that whatever version you edit a photo or create a vector graphic, you can always open the document in earlier versions. Now, this is not the case in InDesign. Since InDesign was created, there has not been any backward compatibility with InDesign documents. So if you created a document using Adobe CC 2024, you would not be able to open that document using any previous version, for example, Adobe 2022 or CS6. This can be an issue if you're working with someone who has an older version of InDesign. So how would you open a document in an older version? Well, to do this, you would first have to export your InDesign document as an IDML file. And to do this is simple. If you need to share your InDesign document with someone who is using an older version, with your document open, simply come up to File, scroll down to Export. Upon click, you will see the browser window. And from here, you can click the drop down on the format option and select InDesign Markup IDML. If we save it as an IDML file and send that to anyone using an older version of InDesign, then they should be able to open it just fine. Now, if you open the download folder that goes along with this course, click into folder three, document samples, you will see folders containing various documents. In here, you will see I have provided all the documents as IDML files. Now I've done this, so whoever is watching this course will be able to open up the files regardless of what version you are using. Now, one thing to keep in mind with IDML files, when you open an IDML file in your respective version of InDesign, if you click save, InDesign will then ask you to save it as an InDesign file. Keep in mind that if you now save it as an InDesign file, you will then lock that file to the version you are using. Should you want to share that file again with someone with an older version, you will have to prepare the IDML file again. However, if you have a file that is made in an older version of InDesign, it will open just fine for anyone who opens it in a newer version of InDesign. So that is how you can prepare to send and receive files to open in earlier versions of InDesign. Another important thing to know when using InDesign. So let's move on and jump into the next subject.